And don't worry about your volume, it's not turned on. I just wanted a moment of silence for our default title screen, because today we'll be fixing this. So let's get straight into it. Step one, go to our gear database thingy right here by clicking that button. Step two, go down to the system tab. It's a third from the bottom, right there. Now we're gonna manipulate some stuff to make our game look better. Now if you recall, in the very, very, very first episode, I said, call your game title whatever you want it to be, just call it this gibberish right here because you can change it later. And in this episode, we're changing it. We're gonna call this the greatest RPG of all time. And that is how you change a game title. That's simple, that easy, that's all we're doing. So that's the first thing we're gonna change from our default title screen. Second thing is we're gonna use this little box right here called title screen to change the images on the title screen. So we can go through, select whatever foreground image or background image and a foreground image if we choose to do so. And so we'll choose a volcano and we'll choose a medieval frame. And we'll hit OK and now that's what our title screen is going to be. Furthermore, you can also choose to draw or not draw the game title. And this would be, for example, if you made your own custom background that already had the game title drawn on it. Or you just don't want the game title drawn there for whatever reason. But we'll have our game title drawn. Finally, the thing we're going to change is a window color. For your game, you can customize a window color to be whatever you like. So let's make it uh, green, uh, light teal greenish, whatever. That's a blue, actually. What was I saying? Anyway, hit OK, and your color and everything is done. So let's go test it out. Voila! Our title screen is now different than before, and so now it's more better than the other one. Yeah! And since that was such a short tutorial, let's also add a couple more stuffs. Let's learn how to customize how the player will look like, where they will be, and all their other stuff when they spawn in the beginning of the game. So number one, right here, this is the initial starting party. Now if you recall, in the previous tutorial, we talked about manipulating the actors. And as you can see right here, we have a list of all these actors that you can manipulate. If you wanted more, we change the maximum, set it to a higher number, then we got more slots, add more actors. But besides that, these are all the players, pretty much. And if you go to our system, we'll find that right here, we have a starting party section right here, which we can input the starting party in the game. So if we delete the last three of these, that means the only character we'd start with is... Which means we'd only have one person at our party. Next thing we can manipulate is their spawning position. Now, while you could just set it in that little tab section right there, an easier way to do this is to go to event mode, right click on a tile, like so, Go to set starting position and go to player. And we can just set the player's spawn point to that point. So you can do this at any time, anywhere. We can even set it to be inside this room that we made still blank because I'm too lazy to actually put stuff in it. Yeah! And the final basic thing to look at is pretty much the music. Now, you have probably been listening to music. I don't have the volume turned on on these tutorials. But these are the things that you listen to. And RPG Maker MV, of course, has a little small list of all these default music you can use and if you look right here these first two are actually the music for the title and the battle we'll get into later so if you want to manipulate what music is played on the title we'd select field castle battle whatever and hit ok and furthermore you can also manipulate how how it sounds with the volume the pitch and the pan pan is going to sound if it's more like on your left side or right side of your ear if you're using stereotype sound pitch of course is going to change the pitch which is going to make it sound higher or lower and of course, volume is going to manipulate how hard or easy it is to hear. Be careful with all these stuff. They can get pretty weird if you mix with them. But anyway, we're okay. We're done with that. And for the most part, that's really all there is for this tutorial. Just manipulate the title screen, manipulate where your player spawns. Very simple, very basic, but it's something you need to learn. So let's test out our game and just see what we have done. So we've created a custom title screen. If we go into our game, we'll find that we start inside this room, we only have one person in our party, if we see here, or if we go into our menu screen and see that we only have one person, and wow, that window color doesn't look great. But whatever, it works and stuff, so yeah, that's really all there is for this tutorial. Until next time, again, yeah, RPG Maker Tutorial, end.